Hello, and welcome to my guide on how to easily be concert redon. Now, the first thing you may want to consider is whether you're going to need to respec or not. If you notice, I have a huge shield and a spear, so that's going to require a lot of strength and a lot of endurance to wield successfully. I like to have a medium ability to roll, and the strength required for these shields can be pretty high, so that is something to consider. So first thing, do you need to respec? And if you do, of course, come see Ranala after you have beat her in Rhea Lucaria. Here is a sample character I have, and they have a intelligence build. So I went with a cold spear and a bloody spear. I highly recommend bleed against concert Radon. Here you can see my stats. Now pay attention to the strength and endurance. And I also have high intelligence in this build, but particularly the strength and intelligence or endurance are very important for being able to hold the shield and do the spear correctly. So, if you need to respect once again, you may need to go increase your strength and endurance for this kind of build. Once again, though, I do recommend a blood a spear for this. Here, I have one of the great shields. Now, there are three you could do that I would recommend. There's this one that you can get right before this fight by fighting one of the NPCs. You can also get the finger shield. And there is also another one I'll talk about at the end of this video. The Lord of Blood's Exaltation is perfect for the bleed build because using this allows you to do extra damage when you cause bleed. Now, to get this, you're actually going to go into the Lindell capital and you're going to have to go under the sewers. And you're going to need to defeat the catacomb boss there. So if you need to look up how to get that, you can. But just know that you're going to have to go to the underground roadside and go through all that. And then get to um, the end of the catacombs and defeat the boss there. The next talisman I want to bring up is called the Golden Braid. Now, this talisman is very helpful in this fight because it gives a big boost against holy damage. And so you are able to withstand a lot more of the second phase attacks with this particular talisman. Now, to get this talisman, there are going to be a few steps. You're going to need to go to this place called the Hinderlands. And then you're going to go up this path. And you're going to go to the shaman village. And it's going to be in this little tree back there. And you're going to just go back there and find that. But in order to even get there, you're going to have to go statue and use this particular gesture called Oh Mother. To get all of this, you may need to look up a guide. But doing this and getting this talisman will be very helpful. As for what kind of armor you're going to need, I would just recommend something that is very sturdy and will allow you to withstand a lot more. You can also use a scholar shield or something like that to boost the shield damage negation. Once you actually enter this boss fight, you're going to roll into this first attack they typically does. And that will allow you to dodge it. After that, though, you're going to basically keep your shield up the entire time. The only times you're going to take it down are if you're going to drink up to heal or if you need to retreat and get your stanima back. Now, a few things to note about that. You're basically just going to walk up and keep poking him. And your goal is to proc if uh, you have a cold spear like I do, then you could do that first so he takes more damage from their attacks. But you're going to definitely want at least a bleed spear of some sort. And then that way you can proc that bleed. You're just going to stand there with your shield up 
and continually poke him with the R1 attacks, while your shield negates almost all of the damage. So as long as you keep that shield up and you watch that stand-up bar, you should be good to go. Now, if your stand-up bar is going to be broken, you are going to take a lot of damage. So with that in mind, you may need to plan a a roll attack or something at times to be able to dodge those attacks. And it typically, if you have enough stamina like I do, then you can actually just continue to poke him until he procs the either frost or bleed. And then between each of his sets of attacks, you can step back, re um, drop your shield, and then you'll be able to, before his next phase of attacks, have enough stamina to go ahead and proc the next set. If you keep jabbing while he's attacking, you may run out of stamina. So if he's doing a lot of attacks at once, you just got to kind of plan when you're going to poke him. Maybe wait till he finishes his attacks, do a few pokes if there's enough stamina before he does his next set, and just continue that process over and over. Basically, just stand behind the shield and poke. Now, when he does this attack, you should really get away and jump over it. If you can, you can try to tank it with a shield, but it doesn't usually work all the way. So just be aware when he does his meteor attack in this, you're definitely going to want to try to avoid it. Um, it can be very damaging. It kind of hits twice. So either roll or you can jump over one of the parts of it as long as you're not too close to it. But basically, as long as you can survive that meter attack, it's going to be the same kind of thing. Also, when he does his grab, just don't be doing too many R1 spams because when he does that grab, he can easily grab you. And if he grabs you twice um, with the charm, then you will die. It just automatically charms you and you die. So... With all that in mind, all you are basically doing is some very basic um, staying behind your shield, poking him, procking the frost, procking the bleed until his life disappears. And so very straightforward, very reliable. I have beat him on multiple characters using this method now, and I highly recommend it. Like I said, if you don't have enough stats, you may have to go and do a rebirth. But that is okay. I wanted to mention an alternative build you can do, and this is using the Black Steel Great Shield. Now, to get this, you have to kill a specific enemy who will drop it every single time you can farm for it. But this shield is wonderful. It has a 100% holy damage negation, and it can have the no skill ability equipped to it which means you're able to still use your ability. In this case, I have Mog Spear, and I have the Lord of Blood Ex Exaltation, of course, which allows me to still do that skill attack if I get that opportunity. As you can see, I still do like the Golden Braid and everything on this build, but using this particular shield, I will say you may lose Stanima faster, so keep that in mind but it's an alternative that will allow you to use your skills still, and it requires a lot less strength. So if you need it to proc and you don't want to invest as much into strength, this only requires 36 or 35, I mean. So it is a great alternative. 